government recently announced eight new reasons for asylum rejection. So now effectively there's eight new ways to lose your asylum case or not quite yet. These are right now just proposals, but if and when they do come into a force and start to apply for asylum cases, they're going to be devastating for a whole lot of people. I'm going to tell you about these things now. So I'm Brian Manning. If we haven't met yet, I'm a political asylum lawyer and I help people all over the country secure their future in the United States through asylum. So reason number one, these new proposals, proposals for which the gov government's going to start denying asylum applications. If you spent more than 14 days in any country on your way to the United States, that'll be grounds for a denial. So if you pass through someplace and you stayed there more than 14 days and you didn't apply for asylum or refugee protection there, then you'll get denied asylum here. Now, number two is actually really similar. If you transited or traveled through more than one country on the way here, well, that's another reason to deny you. So if you took a route, whether by land or even in airplanes connecting in more than one country on the way here, you're gonna get denied if you didn't apply for asylum in those places. So number three on the list of reasons that the government's going to start denying asylum applications if these rules become final and go into effect is for criminal convictions. Now, this one is very vague. It basically just said criminal convictions, uh, which is really weird in light of all of the laws out there that already exist concerning criminal convictions and criminal conduct and immigration benefits. So uh, this one's a little bit scary to see, actually. So number four is having greater than one year of unlawful presence in the United States. What does that mean? Well, being in the country without lawful immigration status means that you're getting unlawful presence. So if you've been here for more than a year, before applying for asylum and you were um, out of status, then that's going to count against you. It's going to be a reason to deny your asylum application. And this is cumulative, which means if you had more than one stint in the United States where you were here without lawful status, so say you came on a tourist visa and they gave you six months to stay and you stayed eight months and then you came uh, back another time and did basically the same thing or you overstayed your student visa. Um, by 10 months. Well, neither of those by itself is a year or more than a year, but considered together, that's more than a year of unlawful presence. So you'd be barred from getting asylum because of that. Now, number five is not paying taxes or meeting related obligations or some language like that that they use in this rule that um, is super vague and it's probably going to give them a lot of leeway to count a whole lot of things um, under this, this rule. So if you're an immigrant who's here or someone who's here from another country and you're supposed to be paying taxes and that's kind of complicated. It doesn't apply to everyone, but if you're supposed to be paying taxes and you don't, then that's a reason to deny your asylum application. So uh, number six on our rule list of new ways to get your asylum application denied is if you've had more than one asylum application denied in the past. If you've been here and applied for asylum more than once and uh, been denied, so been denied two or more times in the past, if you apply now, that's a reason to reject your application. So uh, number seven is if you've abandoned a, an asylum application in the past, which means that you applied, but then you didn't pursue if you just left the country. Uh, people will sometimes apply and then they'll leave. And when you leave the country, you're considered to have abandoned uh, your asylum application. Um, so that counts as one of these things that's going to, in the future, if this proposal becomes uh, a final rule, going to get you denied asylum going forward. So uh, number eight, the last one on our list is failure to attend your interview. And it's bizarre that they include this because um, that's already something that can get you denied. So that's really not news. If you skip your asylum interview, you just don't show up. That can be a reason to deny your application. And actually the government says that there's nine new things that they're saying will lead to normally lead to a rejection of a deny of an asylum application as a matter of discretion. Um, but then they actually only list eight and the ninth thing they list really isn't a reason to deny an asylum application. Um, so who knows what's going to happen. Again, I'm Brian Manning. And if you have questions about this or comments, let me know down in the comment box below. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this or to answer your questions. Thanks until next time. It's my honor to support you in your asylum journey.